the card is the symbol. The card itself is a couple of grams of plastic, basically, right? Yeah. But there's a whole program behind. So, for example, the customers of a, of a fintech clients, uh, they can uh, participate in these programs. Sure. So, so they can um, participate in ocean cleanups, for example. And this, this can then be happening, so to speak, together with, with the fintech and, um, yeah, basically helping, helping the community. Yeah. And then also um, uh, making sure that that, um, uh, that that there's, I mean, from a business perspective, that differentiates then the, the, the fintech also uh, from their competitors. Let's uh, drill down into to GND then. What have you been working on personally? What's been getting you up every morning um, that you've been concentrating on? Uh, we're, we're actually working on making our customers, our fintech customers in particular, in my case, uh, successful. So we, we are, we're working on uh, uh, business models together with them. We are creating new business models and we want to make sure that um, their clients, uh, the, the new bank clients, for example, have the best customer experience. So, for example, we have a very strong focus on sustain, uh, sustainability, eco-innovation. Um, which is very high on the agenda now for, for a lot of consumers. I'm just going to spin you around if that's all sure. right. Sure, yeah, go ahead. The other side. Um, so, when you try and make a customer's lives easier, you know, mm -hmm. the, the end consumer easier, because I think that's what we should be focusing on. We, yeah. So often, when we're talking about fintech, we deal so much with trying to convince the banks why we should, what we should be doing next. We're not looking at why. So can you tell us some of the use cases that you, your experience or your customers' experience or their end customers' experience from going on this journey? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, so we, we, we briefly touched on this uh, sustainability topic and eco-innovation. And that's, that's very high on the agenda for a lot of uh, customers, of fintechs in particular, um, recently. And um, I mean, we, we have, uh, being in the, in the car business, we, we, we have come up with a number of uh, different cars that, that are basically acting as a symbol of change in terms of sustainability and eco-innovation. For example, made of ocean plastic or bioplastic recycled PVC. And uh, we, we don't stop there because you, you want to build a whole program around this as a fintech, for example, yeah. and, and not only give a recycled card, for example, to your, to your clients, but you, you really want to tell them, okay, you're, you're making the world a better place and here's how you can do that. Uh, so we're working together with uh, companies like Parley for the Ocean in order to collect plastic actually on, on the shore or, or in the sea, in the ocean. Wow. and use that in our cards. It's actually quite interesting. This is not something I think about. Obviously, yeah. we look at uh, <laughs> cards and we use cards every day and, you know, you lose cards every, like every other day. Yeah. It's not actually something... <laughs> depends how many times you go to the pub. A hundred percent. Depends how many beers I've had. But, yeah, but it's, you don't actually think about where them cards are coming from and they're still plastic at the end of yeah. the day, aren't they? So If you think everyone's got at least, like, five or of, you know, various ones from their gym or anything, but yeah. I know you're yeah. handling payment cards. So you're effectively going right to the source, you're pulling all this plastic mm -hmm. from the ocean to facilitate finance. Exactly, that's, that's, that's the, and again, the card is the symbol. The card itself is a couple of grams of plastic, basically, yeah. right? But there's a whole program behind. So, for example, the customers of a, of a fintech clients, uh, they can uh, participate in these programs. Sure. So, so they can um, participate in ocean cleanups, for example. And this, this can then be happening, so to speak, together with with the fintech and um, yeah basically helping helping the community yeah and then also um, uh, making sure that that, um, uh, that that there's I mean from a business perspective that differentiates then the, the, the fintech also uh, from their competitors and that being said I mean we, we don't stop with the with the plastic but um, we have also corporations with economy for example who's a um, who's a startup company a fintech that's um, actually measuring uh, on a daily basis uh, your CO2 consumption or your water consumption yeah. based on the payments that you're making. So again, there's this combination of you know, the payment that you make and then the, um, the sustainability aspect. And then we're working together with, uh, with another company um, by the name of Patch, and they're basically making sure that, that you can um, uh, offset your CO2 consumption and uh, become carbon neutral. So and all of that fits together and, and you can build really a very nice program around this as a fintech 
and make sure that um, that you have a very good value proposition for your for your clients and differentiate as well. Yeah. I just think that's absolutely brilliant because, yeah, Andrew, you were saying as well, it's it's something that when you're just walking down the street, you don't think of. Because of finance being such a tertiary industry, it's done in offices, it's done digitally, you, you sometimes forget that there's actually a ubiquity of payments, cards, plastic behind everything you do, the carbon footprint behind every payment. And so to hear how Geeseker and Derrick G&D are really going to the source and enabling your customers to be proactive, quite exciting.